welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, Creating Your Personal Breakthrough, Part 1 of Two Parts. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they laid down the bed wearing the sick of palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Mark 2, 3-5 It is a mistake to sit back and expect God to do everything that needs to be done for our breakthrough. God wants us to take some of the action that will bring about our much-needed breakthrough. First of all, what we need above all else is to always have Jesus in the house. We need him in our personal house of our body. The home we live in, even the sanctuary you go, or our place of business. Notice in verse 5, it said, Jesus saw their faith. He said unto the sick of palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. I would propose that these four men carried this sick person by faith. To create your own personal breakthrough, you must surround yourself with people who have faith. Notice verse 4, they could not come near unto him because of the crowd. We don't know much about the actual construction of the roof that was on this house that Jesus was in. But we do know in fact that it was a roof. We do know that in fact it was a physical barrier to the presence of Jesus Christ himself being in the flesh at the time. You couldn't have an audience with him because you couldn't get in through traditional means. You couldn't walk through the front door. You couldn't sit down and have a conversation because the house was so full. My question to you this morning, are you willing to do something untraditional if you can't get in by traditional means? Breakthrough don't always happen overnight, but in order for it to come, you must start somewhere. In order for your breakthrough to come to pass, it will require you to see your situation with different eyes. Sometimes, in order to gain new perspective, you not only need to give the situation time in prayer, but you also need to break the strongholds of emotion through prevailing prayer and fasting. This whole business of going through the roof to get to Jesus simply could not have happened if these four men did not have risky faith. They risk being mocked, rejected, laughed at, stoned, ridiculed, hated, envied, jealous of, and misunderstood. But when you are so passionate for helping somebody to get to Jesus, none of that matters. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. What is it that you want God to do for you? And will it require a spiritual and emotional breakthrough in order for it to come to pass in your life? Do you have the faith to trust God to take the steps he's going to lay out for you when you seek his face and get the necessary information through his word and through wise instructions from those who have been there? Don't listen to those who tell you that you can't accomplish your goal for God. But listen to the promise of his word that says you can make it. As your pastor today, I want you to know, I believe that each of you have what it takes to apply these very simple steps I'm about to recommend to create your own personal breakthrough. 1. An atmosphere of faith. 2. Gaining knowledge and wisdom. 3. Fasting and prayer. And 4. Taking the necessary steps of sometimes having risky faith. You can do it if you believe. The thought of the day, breakthrough don't always happen overnight, but in order for it to come, you must start somewhere. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.